Good morning. Today is Wednesday, November 29, 2017, and here I am again. I'm inside my warm classroom because it is chilly outside. My goodness, I did not want to get out of bed this morning. It was like 45 degrees in my house, and I don't know if anyone knows. Well, nobody knows because I'm pretty private about my private life, but I don't use the heater. Very typical um, guy, I guess. I don't know. I want to save some money on electricity, so I just say, no heater. But my goodness, it is freezing. On the bright side, though, it's pretty warm in here. I mean, the, the, the heater, I don't have to pay for electricity when I'm in school, right? So, like, hey, I'm just going to crank up my heat all the way up. So, that's my thing. Anyway, you know, the funny thing is, I've been in this classroom so long. I know exactly when it's 74 degrees. Because I've always kept it 74 degrees. That's my, like maximum teaching um, temperature. I have to teach at 74 degrees or it's a problem. I don't know. Well, I, it's not like it's a problem, but like I definitely focus a lot better when I teach um, when the when the temperature is just right and 74 degrees for me in my case. But man, it just makes you not want to leave this classroom because it's so warm and like everything else is so cold. Um, anyway, uh, what's on the docket today? Well, I'm actually really excited because we're moving on from like all those mini projects and all those projects. I get to actually do some time, some kind of teaching this time. So my students just finished um, Five Finger Summaries. Um, I just found this, honestly, just found it on the internet. And I thought like, wow, this is a really useful strategy. Um, this is a good way to support the kids. Basically, you do a five finger strategy. Each finger becomes a sentence. And in the end, you'll have a paragraph that's a summary, right? Isn't that amazing? It, it, it just blew my mind at how simple the strategy was, and I think it was actually going to be effective. Anyway, they summarize the story of um, Oedipus and Eurydice, or Eurydice to some people. And what I ended up doing was I basically took my seventh grade teacher's assignment and made it my own. Because I've always wanted to teach this, because this is really cool. You know, it's kind of like, wow, I'm... I'm carrying on the flame of this assignment, I don't know. A lot of my lessons and a lot of my uh, assignments I actually just take from all my old teachers. They're like ones that I just particularly stand out to me and I just do those because, you know, they were fun. So this one, yeah, um, they summarized Oedipus, uh, Oedipus, Orpheus. Did they say Oedipus earlier? I meant Orpheus. They summarized the story of Orpheus and Eurydice, right? What our teacher had us do was make our own version. And that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna have them make their own version. So one thing that they didn't, what my old teacher didn't have was a model. So I wrote a model and I'm actually really excited to show the model. I'm just like, kind of went a little crazy on the story. You know, I just wanted to show them that you can go pretty out there when you're making your own version of the story. Um, and you know, as for standards, I know there's a standard in there somewhere. I don't know what it is. Um, I know, just I just want to like I want to I just want to teach this. I just want to like do something more interesting, more fun, uh, for me because I've been trying to like you know make things a little bit more fun for me. It's just been a little bit of a grind. Um, I think next week I'll be ready to go back, hunker down, and do our do my work again. Um, continue on with the story because after that we'll have a. Uh, Two weeks before break starts, and I'm just so excited for that break. We're going. My my wife uh, and I are going to the Las uh, Las Vegas, Los Angeles, um, in the second week of the break. I'm a little nervous because I, I've never, well, I have driven there, but I've never driven there with just me and her, and I I tend to get some anxiety when it comes to doing that. Other than that, though, that's pretty much what's on uh, what we're gonna be doing. Um, classroom's a little bit of a mess from yesterday's project. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm going to be excited today. Uh, I hope everything will go well. The beeping is still here, as it's as pretty evident. Um, and, you know, I'm a little excited for this new thing. Um, uh, Hearthstone's coming out with a new single player mode. And I guess I'm just, I, I, don't, I don't know, I'm like excited. It kind of gives us like a solitaire mode. And I, I kind of want to play it. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, this is a pretty long video, I guess. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, it'll be Thursday and we'll bring it home on Friday. Right, it's gonna be a quick week. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. John it!